Hi everyone, I'm Eric with Midas and welcome to Music Studios. In this video, I will show you how to navigate the routing system on the M32. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I will begin by coming over and hitting the routing button, which is gonna take me to the home screen here. And under the home tab, this is where all my inputs are gonna be chosen. Now on the M32, there are three ways to get inputs into the console. Now the first way is gonna be local which is referring to the actual physical XLR inputs located on the rear of the console. So for example, if I'm using an analog snake and it's returning back here into the inputs on the console, then I'm going to select local inputs on this menu here. Now the second way is through my AES 50 ports, A or B, which are used for connecting up to digital stage boxes and for digital splits to other consoles. So for example, if I'm plugging in all my inputs on stage into a DL16 or a DL32 like I have here, then I'm gonna be connecting it via AAS50 over CAT5 cable. So I will need to select which port on the console it's coming back to, either A or B. Now the third way is card in and out. For bringing in tracks from your DAW, let's say maybe for a virtual sound check perhaps. And on the home tab, I will select card in banks of eight all the way to 32. Now, if I want to do a full multi-track recording of my show, a good rule of thumb is to match the card out tab to the home tab. Now, for example, if all my inputs are coming in to the physical XLR inputs on the back of the console, then I've selected local for my inputs on the home tab. Now, on the card out tab, I will select local one through eight all the way to 25 through 32, just like it is on the home tab. Moving on briefly to the other tabs, out one through 16. Now this directly corresponds to the physical XLR outputs on the rear of the console. Now these are completely assignable for whatever you need them for. You can use these for monitor sends, you can use these as IEM sends, or you can use them for main outputs as well. Now the auxiliary outs, now this is gonna allow me to patch signals directly to the physical quarter inch and RCA outputs at the rear of the console. Now this is great for using your outboard gear as well, or maybe bringing in tracks from your iPod right into the RCA inputs. Moving over is the P16 out tab, which is gonna allow me to patch internal signal paths to the 16 outputs of the console's 16 channel P16 alternate output. Now this is gonna be used with the P16 personal monitoring system, as well as interfacing with turbo sound select speaker systems that are equipped with the alternate via the IQ setup page. Now the AES 50 outs A and B is for patching of internal signal paths to the 48 outputs of the AES 50 ports. Now I can use these to set up maybe a split to another console. That's uh, great for that. XLR out, here you can configure the physical XLR outs on the rear of the console in blocks of four from either local inputs, the AES streams, or the expansion card. Now to finish up, now that you know the basic ways of routing on the M32, I'd like to mention that if you would like to save a little time, you might want to check out the routing presets that we have available via the library menu right here under the routing tab. Well, there you have it. I hope this video gives you a better understanding of the routing procedures on the M32. For more information and media, visit MidasConsoles.com. I'm Eric, and thanks for stopping by Music Studios. See you next time.